Hey, everybody. Welcome to another edition of the Slightly Warped Podcast. I'm Rick, joined as always by Big Show. Hey, Big Show. Show. Big, big. What's up, Show? Uh, first off, Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you, my friend. First How one was your of holiday 2024. Break? What, the first New Year of 2024 or the first show? The first show. <laughs> gotcha. Now, I do yep. want to let everybody know, forgive me for anybody that uh, has to accept anything from me that has a date on it. For the next six months, I will still be writing 2023 out of <laughs> habit. Yep, that's pretty much it. Come December, you'll just get used to saying 2024 and then be 2025. That's the way it goes in my world. Yes, sir. So, um, how was your Christmas and New Year holidays? It was all right. Pretty uneventful. But, you know. Right, that was pretty much like mine. I mean, Christmas, you know. Um, spent some time uh, with Heather's folks. And uh, we had some fun visiting them. New Year's. I didn't do anything. I, as a matter of fact, yeah. you, you know, I sent all my Happy New Year texts, you know, three, four hours in advance. Because I let everybody know I'm going to bed long before the ball drops. Now nah, we use, I mean, we just play board games until after midnight and then we all go to bed. But I mean, that's pretty much uh, I'm old, same so thing. My philosophy was it's still going to be 2024 when I wake up. So true. But I figured I could sleep Monday. So we're good. That's true. So for everybody that uh, wants to know, and obviously if you clicked on the little uh, thing, you're listening or watching, so you know that this episode is about things people do that gets under our skin. I'm talking about things that annoy us and things that make us question people's intelligence. So I want to say in advance, if you fall under one of these categories, I am sorry. We're going to talk about you. If you know somebody that falls underneath these categories, reach out to them. And let them know that people are talking about them. And this is the and, best time of year to change up. Make it a new and year's you can, resolution. Hey, and you can name drop if you want. I'm, I'm good with you telling <laughs> them what I say. And before we get started, too, if you guys got any questions, comments, you want to chime in, hit us up at the Slightly Warped Podcast at Yahoo.com. If you're watching on uh, YouTube, you can always leave a comment there as well. If you're listening in on any of the uh, other uh, podcast sites, uh, some of those do have the ability to leave a comment. But uh, if you want to make sure it gets read, email us, the slightly warped podcast at yahoo.com. All right, show. I'm going to get the ball rolling here. All right. I cannot stand it when people jet out in front of me and go nowhere. And, and, and this is twofold. This is when you turn in front of me with your car, just so that you can just like drive 20 miles an hour in a 35 zone. And this is also for the person that is at the convenience store, the grocery store, wherever. And you just like jet out in front and you taking up the whole aisle. You can't be on the left or the right. You got to be on the whole aisle. Just moving at your own pace. Why? If you're going to go that slow and you don't have a care in the world, let everybody else go in front of you. I could be wrong. So, like, are you strictly talking about driving? I'm talking about driving. I'm talking about, you know, people in stores walking. I'm talking about just getting in front of you and going slow. They both get under my skin. I get that. The walking part, I mean, just walk around. It's not that big a deal, you know. The driving part, if I'm in the fast lane and you pull out in front of me, then what you have an issue. But if I'm in the middle lane and there's two other lanes around me and you ride my ass, oh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna slow down and I'm gonna point at the speed limit sign each time we pass, just so you know that's what I'm doing. Just to piss you off. And then if we're on a two-lane area and you're trying to pass me because you're being a prick and I see there's cars up ahead of me, oh, I'm speeding up. Make sure you stay behind me. I'm that guy. I, I've done that before, too. 
I'm that guy. A healthy lesson for people to learn. You know, I mean, if that's, but if I, you know, if I'm, if I'm in the hammer lane and I'm not going to speed limit, by all means, yes, honk me. I'll get out the way. I try not to ride in that lane anyway. Because I'm an old man and I like to drive slow. You're a young old man. Well, my first one is a little bit different. I okay. am I am sick and tired. Sick and tired of people that believe the earth is flat. Are there still people that do that? Oh my gosh, you don't understand how many and people that I'm related to. Let me say this, I'll look at the camera. I do love you, but you're an idiot. Uh that the that the earth is flat and like there's so many uh things out there that that you could just look up and send to somebody that says oh this is why the earth's flat the bible says the earth's flat blah 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 and i'm like whatever dude there's so many scientific pictures showing you that the earth is round and then when you hit them with facts like you know if the earth was flat you would never get but a regular full moon and then sometimes you'd have a moon that looks just like a rectangle right in the middle of it instead of you know the crescents and the circles and things like that if the earth was not in fact round i okay you've just blown my mind i i did not believe did you just google it still thought that you just googled that didn't you no i, I didn't oh I mean, oh yeah google it just google it while you're talking and see how many chat rooms and how many people believe that the earth is still flat i i, I will have to do that um well, yeah it's something wrong with y'all um this one anybody who's watched the show they know because i've talked about this one before people who always believe it's somebody else's fault it don't matter what the problem is it don't matter what they're going through. They can't take accountability for themselves. It's always somebody else's fault. This happened to me today. That happened to me. This person did this to me. If this much stuff happens to you, think about it. You might have a little bit of something to do with that. I cannot Most stand it. And if you're that person, I'm sorry. I cannot stand it. It is not always somebody else's fault take some responsibility uh, I can't even put in the words just just once think Grow of it up. in terms of what you can do to change that outcome and you will find nine times out of ten it's not all on somebody else and I, let me be the first to admit I've been that guy I've been that guy that tried to blame somebody else, you know, really? or some, you know, but it was more or less, I, I say it as I taking accountability for my actions. Like there have been times in my youth where I have blown up for no apparent reason to somebody that doesn't deserve it, realized that I am the biggest ass walking the planet, walked back and said, Hey, I apologize for the way I'm acting, but I, let me explain to you why I was this way. You know, this, this, and this happened. May not make it right, but I have been that person in my in my life to say, um, you know, that I've allowed the outside world to dictate and 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 be an ass to other people. That's why I'm so big on the you know the using your words wisely and things. The older I get, because you know, I was actually just having this conversation with my youngest daughter as I dropped her off at work. Is you know. Once you speak something out, you can't unspeak it. It's like once you see it, you can't unsee it. So very true. You want to you want to be mindful of what you say and how you said it, you know, and reminded her that you know God gave us two ears and one mouth for a reason. Should listen more than you speak. I like that. All right, my number two. This is gonna this is gonna cause some some ripples out there in the netherworld, I'm sure. Folks, there are only two genders. Male and female. Period. 
You can choose to be called whatever you want to be called, but I don't have to agree with it, nor do I have to accept your opinion. Now, you don't have to accept mine either, but even in the farming industry, when you clip a bull's nuts, he doesn't become a cow. He's still a steer. I can't argue with any of that. I mean, when you get a you get a dog or a cat, you know, neutered or spayed, they don't become a different species or a different gender. They just become impotent. And, and I'm tired of, that. of I'm tired of it being pushed to our use just force fed down our throats that we must accept we must accept we must accept this blah 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 i'm just so sick and tired of it you can believe whatever you want to believe but don't force your beliefs on me i'm not doing that to you obviously this is our channel so we you know we get to verbalize how we think and feel right but it's not like i'm i'm calling people cold calling them and telling them you must think this way you know where you see you know all the you know, get togethers where, you know, people are dealing with Congress and stuff. It's just, I'm just tired of it. I'm just tired of it. This is that old man soapbox thing. I'm just tired of it. Get out of my yard. I, I piggybacking off of that. I can't stand it when it spills over into the entertainment industry. We've got to insert this type of people in this movie we've got to insert this type of agenda in this movie let the movie be about the movie and put the agenda somewhere else right but nowadays that's how they get to our use let me make this cartoon character gay so i can start initiating at a young age that it's okay now um, let me say this again i'm not saying it's not okay I just don't agree with it. Yeah, we, we and we've the Bible does this state before. Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Mm -hmm. And we, we've expressed before that, you know, we don't. We don't put anybody down for whatever they believe. You believe what you believe. No, it's we, not my place to judge you. Yeah. Uh, if we believe that it's wrong, we always go with the adage love the person hate the sin and and we still feel that way no matter what depending i don't on care the person, what you do i might hate time. you too huh i said depending on the person i might hate them too <laughs> well that's a different kind of person right there <laughs> Woo, uh no i'm not going there y'all um but yeah i I can't stand it when the agenda is pushed into um, the entertainment industry. I'm not just talking about film either. It It is in music. Uh, it's everywhere. Yeah. No matter where you look, it is everywhere. You can't get, you can't get around it. You can't. No. And just, just, and, you know, just talking to my youngest daughter, she's a junior in high school, but still, you know, the things that, that her, her, her age group are completely tolerant of when we were kids that would no that would not be a thing so it's just it's just are changing they have changed and <clears throat> you know some people are blind to it you know they're got their blinders on uh the sheep um i just uh yeah we could get a lot deeper, but we're trying to keep it as jovial as possible. That's why we're slightly warped. You got a fourth one? Well, that was just my second one. I'm sorry. I didn't I didn't ripped off three. I'm sorry. No, you've only ripped off two. Uh no. I I, I did the uh You did the you did the movement thing and then you did the accountability thing. Well, I piggybacked off of your thing with the Yeah, uh, but that so you didn't have your own. You just copied. See, I, that's one thing that gets her. I hate copiers and plagiar people that plagiarize other people's work. <laughs> Technically, I'm not plagiarizing because you're on this show too. So they know where the initial thought came from. 
Now, if I, I edit you out of here, always correct me. If I edit you out of the show, <laughs> <laughs> right? Exactly. Well, you know, and then the other thing that really irritates me too, and this is a jovial irritation, is can we please stop the Jordan versus LeBron debate, please? And and just crown Jordan as the greatest of all time and LeBron pretty good. And stop trying to convince us old heads that LeBron is better than Jordan. Oh, that's not going to work. I mean, these young cats, they, that's all they talk about. I mean, like my old, my oldest son is, is, is big, is a big LeBron fan. And he's always trying to throw these stats at me. And I'm like, that stuff's Dude, just already go been back done. And watch watch some of the videos, man. The game's not even the same. I'm just gonna put it out like this: anybody who believes that LeBron is better than Jordan, check yourself because LeBron's not even the best person to ever play on his team. Well, it depends what team you're talking about. Now you're talking about Lakers, maybe, but he's probably the best team to ever play for the Cavaliers. Okay, but he's right now he's a current he's Laker. And if he's not the no, best person to ever play in the Lakers, right. he's not right, the greatest you, of all time. But you can do the same thing about Jordan. Jordan wasn't the best player to ever play for the Washington Wizards, but <laughs> he still played for them. Good point. Right? Yeah. So, I mean, you know, so it, LeBron is, and I, he's probably one of the top five players of all time. Maybe top, you know, top five might be pushing it. Definitely top 10. I'll, Definitely I'll give you top that. 10. I'll give and, you if that. You, and if and if you go strictly his position, I would probably say top five. However, I can't, I can't when, knock that. I can't knock that. It, I mean, realistically, I can't. But yeah, he's no Michael to, Jordan. No, it's when it comes to Jordan and LeBron and actually comparing them, it's like saying Mahomes is better than Brady. It it's not. It it, it it's not. It it's not. It's I mean, it's just that's an inaccurate statement. Now Mahomes has the potential to become better than Brady. No, but no. you're talking about a long career and lots of Super Bowl victories. He has the potential to match Tom Brady. There is no way he's going to bypass him. Unless from this day forward, and from my mouth to God's ears, from this day forward, he wins every Super Bowl for the next 10 years. <clears throat> He could match, but that would not put him above him. Now, LeBron's not even close if you match stat for stat years playing. The only reason why LeBron has so many more points and leading the league in points and was able to pass Kareem Abdul-Jabbar is because He's able to play 157 years in a league where if I if I brush past you, it's a foul. Yeah. And if I say I'm sorry, it's a technical. I was trying to explain to my son, go back and watch the bad boys in Detroit. Nobody could hang with them. Not even Jordan could hang with them in the late uh late eighties. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so it's just like the game's not even the same. It's just and that's the other thing I'm going to do in 2024. I'm going to stop arguing these moot points to people that just don't get it. And and that's that leads me to my next one. People that always have to argue. I mean, it could be about the simplest of things. If they don't agree, they have to freaking argue with you. Oh, no, you got to see it my way. Oh, I'm right. No, you're not. That's your opinion. And, and I'll piggyback off that too. In in an argument, no, there isn't, there doesn't always have to be somebody's right and wrong. The only thing that's accurate that I'm aware of that you can prove X plus Y equals Z is in mass. Mm -hmm. Everything else is up for debate. I mean, that's why you get all these flat earthers and extra genders and all that crap. I mean, it's just an actual, it's what you believe and what you think and believe in all the freaking conspiracy theories and things like that. I don't know. I think they're out to get us, man. Yeah. And, you know, the older we get, the the less the less patient we get with our thinking, because, you know, we're kind of already set in our ways. 
Um, you know, actually, this brings me up to another point. I actually had a conversation with a good friend of mine who I grew up with. His name's Jason. Uh, he listens to our podcast. Uh, so thank you, Jason, for listening. Yeah, but he, 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 he posed a question uh, to me. Well, he posted on Facebook and I responded, but he was like, what, you know, why is it that we have to eat black eyed peas in, on New Year's, you know, and everybody's like, it's good luck. And he's like, well, no rich person ever said that. And I said, well, you never heard no rich person not say it either. You know what I'm saying? You know, but, you know, and then it, it came into, you know, well, it's just like, that's how we grew up because our parents did that and their parents did that and their parents did that before. So poverty type, you know, that's, that was a staple item when you didn't have money back in right. the day. And so the, pos the, 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 the poverty mindset is passed on to our children. We got to break that curse. That, that's kind of what the, what the conversation went through, but it's like, really, and he had a good point. Like really, what is the point to eat? I mean, it just, it's just a tradition or, a, or a, what, what you call it? Like a good luck charm, I guess. Yeah. No different than carrying a rabbit's foot, in my opinion. A you superstition. Know? You know, besides the fact that they are very yummy, I love them. <laughs> uh black eyed peas cornbread oh yeah gotta goons. have some cornbread with yeah you. gotta let you know gotta do that so uh but yeah so i told him i would mention that and um you know, maybe that's something we can talk about at a later date what are your thoughts on that on black eyed peas i love them i mean do you think it makes a difference like in good luck or is you just no no, okay. there are years yeah, when I've that. had them. There are years when I haven't. It, it it really doesn't make a difference. Now, funny story. My sister Natalie, uh, one year, my you know, because my wife is big, is that's the first thing you have to eat during the day. You know, she she does it right after midnight. You know, she mm -hmm. she eats a little spoonful. I usually do it as soon as I get up. But she made my sister Natalie do it. My sister got pregnant that same year, and she's like, I ain't never eating them like <laughs> peas ever again. <laughs> so. I don't know if that had anything to do with it. I mean, you know, maybe made her more fertile. I don't know. The jury is out on that one. I yeah. Mm. Okay, so how do I put this? Very delicately. No, no, this is this is kind of jovial as well. Um because it was it was along the lines of people that always have to argue a point. Mm -hmm. Um, I equally, I equally can't stand it when somebody doesn't, um, try to uh you know express their view, or, or show their side. Um. And it doesn't have to be argument. It could just be in anything where somebody is quick to just give up on whatever it is they do. I can't stand you fucking quitters. That's that that's as plain as I can make it. Um, sometimes the juice ain't worth the squeeze, though. Sometimes, yeah, but um, like what's that old saying? You know, you know, uh, it's rather to be. Uh, thought of as a fool then open your mouth and be proved right or something like that yeah yeah but but again that's not even in an argument it could be in any circumstance I, I just I see a lot of people that um, they don't want to try they, they they're they they're quick to just give up on things and it's like if once you it just, becomes hard yeah if you just put forth hard, a little effort do it. a little bit of effort you might see, and I know there's a lot of people out there that have greater potential than what they think they have, but they don't apply it. Yeah, everybody. Hello? Okay. Sorry. Okay. Um, somebody was knocking on my, my door there. Uh, I agree. You know, most people, if it, if there's a little bit of a hurdle... You know, if they're if they're if they are pushed out of their comfort zone just a little bit, they tend to use that as an excuse to quit. You know, that's this society nowadays, unfortunately. But anything worth attaining is going to be a little bit difficult to grab. Otherwise, exactly. everybody would be doing it. 
shameless plug anybody who's familiar with the forum change on facebook that's our forum it is about just what it says changes whether it be physical or mental and every month for the entire year of 2024 we are going to have a different challenge currently it's just something simple as the water challenge drink eight glasses of water a day who can't do that but with almost 400 people on the forum you'd be surprised on how many people attempt to do things on the forum i mean you've got your usual faithful you've got some people that will join in every now and then but after those people i can put aside 200 other people that um i don't know if it's fear intimidation and, and and this is the perfect forum for that because there isn't any of that on here this isn't something that you have to be an athlete or an expert we are normal people that go through everyday stuff that lift each other up and help each other out either with words of wisdom advice or just a hey man that was good. Keep it up. You know, just something like that. And mm -hmm. my whole thing is, I don't want you to be intimidated. I want you to give it a try. I don't care if you fail every single month. At the end of the day, you tried. Because my biggest thing is, you don't want to wake up five years from now and wonder what if. Exactly. You definitely don't want to do that. The, the other quick one, too, is, is um, and I'm sure I'm going to rub some people the wrong way, but at this point, I don't care. <clears throat> the women out there that believe in equal rights, I'm down for that. But the whole, the whole scope of it. You know, you can't just make it where it's easy for you and your gender. Does that make sense? That like makes perfect sense. They they want they want a man to be provide you know to be strong and provide for them and protect them, but yet they also want to be independent and not you know not uh, uh, submissive. You know things like that. Now I know a lot of women out there will be submissive to the man that deserves to be submitted to. I also right. understand that. Uh, but, you know, I just, you know, I'm all down for equal rights, but I'm good for equal lefts as well. It really depends on how you react, you know. So um, that's, that's one thing that irritates me too, is like I, I want it to be the full, the full genre, not, uh, right. not just, you know, I want, you know, you don't get to handpick what's, what suits you. Yeah, um, I feel you on that all the way. Like, for instance, just we'll just use this. Like, I mm -hmm. thoroughly agree that a man should not hit a woman. Right. However, I am not against a man protecting himself from a woman who's trying to harm him. Agreed. So if that woman feels like because she's a woman... She can hit him in the face or punch him in the chest and not get a reaction. That is what I'm talking about. You, everything has a consequence and a repercussion. So be mindful because not everybody is going to be as patient as Big Show. Exactly. And, and if y'all don't get it, I'm going to put it in the simple terms. You cannot claim to be the victim while becoming the assailant or the bully. Good point. It, it doesn't work like that. Um, you know, you, you mentioned it for women. I'm going to mention it for race too. It's the exact same thing. I don't agree with we need our own dot, 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 fill in the blank, whatever. No, you don't. It needs to be for everybody. The only way it's ever going to work is if it, whatever it may be, is for everybody. You don't need 
Yes this, or no? I that would be a whole. That's a whole. That conversation we should have. But I I agree yeah. and disagree with that statement. Well, we will have that conversation at a later date. But uh, yeah. along those lines, and I know people are shouting at the hilltops now. No, we've got to have our own. You take that mentality, then it will never be equal because you are claiming the victim, but you are trying to have it your way. It should be everybody's way. That's the only way it will ever stop, whatever it may be. We'll need to put this on next week's topics. Well, we can't do it for next week. Next week is true crime. We're going back to D.B. Cooper, finally. Okay. Second, second Tuesday of the month. But we can table it gotcha. for the third week. Fair enough. All right. We got a few minutes left. I, I want to um, talk about the National Football League. First off, right. a moment of silence for my Raiders because now we are officially eliminated. All right. That's but, all I want to talk about them. But you guys won your Super Bowl on Christmas Day, so... Yeah, we did. Hopefully you get you get to hang that banner somewhere. It it's hung in our minds. It's hung in our minds. I I I I strongly believe that Antonio Pierce should be the next head coach, but I'm not the millionaire billionaire owner of the team, so we'll see what happens uh come late January, early February when it's announced. But congratulations to those Chiefs. The eighth time in a row, AFC West champions. Yes, sir. And I think, if I'm correct, you're locked into that number three seed. We which are. means that you will have a home game. Have one home game, in yes. the playoff. Okay. We could have a potential two if the number two and number three were to get beaten in the divisional round. But... Uh, most likely just the one. Now, right now, we don't even know who number two is going to be because Buffalo plays Miami. To it's going to be one of those two. It's yeah. going to be one of those two guys for sure. Um, Not that I would root for Kansas City, but I'll say this. You better hope Miami wins that game because mm. you match up well against Miami. We not match so up well against Buffalo. You, you we match, match up, up well against Buffalo as well. If your receivers can catch, you match up well against Buffalo. We would have beat Buffalo if Kadarius Tony lined up on sides. That is also true. That is so, also true. I mean, it's we match up well with them. I'm not I'm not really worried about either one of them. The only team that worries me is Baltimore. That that should worry everybody. You know, I'm not even worried about whoever comes in from the NFC. Um Although my pick is still in order. I did say the Chiefs and the Cowboys for the Super Bowl. I, I've still got the football. Niners. The it's Cowboys nice. don't scare me. They don't need to scare you. They just need to win. Like the Chiefs don't scare nobody. All they need to do is win. And we have the defense to keep games low, to keep the yeah. points low. And as long as you have Mahomes on your team, you always have a shot. Now, do I think Grant. they're actually going to go all the way no, I don't. Uh, but technically, I'm rooting for Miami to beat Buffalo this week. I'm rooting for uh, the Jaguars to win. I'm rooting for Pittsburgh Steelers to beat Baltimore. And as long as the Texans and the Colts don't end in a tie, if those all things happen, Buffalo will miss the playoffs altogether. Yeah. Yeah, I mean... It, and all of that's doable because the Baltimore is going to be resting their guys. They're not going to be playing them. So Pittsburgh could sneak one in there. The Jags are playing the Titans, I think. And they need to win that game to secure the division because if they lose, whoever wins the Houston Indianapolis game will win that division. So it's not like it's out of the question, but if any of the things don't happen, We'll be playing Buffalo or Miami the first game, whoever loses that game. I think it's going to be Ravens Niners in the Super Bowl. I mean, that's that's the easy way out pick, I guess. It, it is. I'm taking the easy way out. Yeah. I mean, you know. I mean, don't I give know? it no. Don't give it no fight. You know, just quit. Oh, that's somebody you don't like. My bad. <laughs> All right. 
been wonderful. It's been wonderful. It oh, has. real quick. Are we going to pick who's going to win? Are the Raiders going to win this week? The Raiders will win because it's, who, who they it's Denver. Oh. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Oh, we own them. Denver. Uh, we'll see. No, we no, own no Russell too. Wilson this time. We own him. It's all we good. We own y'all too. That ended on Christmas Day. Um, y'all got the Chargers. I expect y'all to win. We should. Yeah. They're they're in disarray. We should. Unless they, you know, unless for some reason Andy's going to, since we can't go up or down, unless he rests everybody. I think that Andy will start the starters, but I don't know how much y'all going to play in the second half. We'll see. I mean, I am I agree with you. You're probably going to be up 14 points in the second half, so he probably will stitch you. So, I mean, if it was me, I'd play everybody. Nobody get a day off. I agree. The way they've been, I, that, the way they've been playing mentality. this year, that they don't deserve one. I, I would, I would, I would start everybody in the second half, and I'd be all throwing plays. I want the catch drills. That's what you're going to be doing. Catch drills. Yep. Extra time on the jugs machine. All right, everybody. That's all the time we got for today. But we will be back next week. Show. Take us on up out of here. Happy New Year, everybody. Thank you for listening. We'll see you next week. Hug, hug your loved ones. Tomorrow's not promise. Later.